morning everybody oh my god i look so bad i look nasty i'm sorry about that but what's going on everybody um welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Jalen. but you can just call me j dog so for today's video we have a Seattle vlog we have a little travel vlog going on i'm still at home right now but we're doing like last minute things i'm going to um walmart right now to get like road snacks um and things of that nature because we're doing this trip on a budget we are doing this trip on a budget i will say it again we have no money <laughs> i'm excited i'm so pumped okay so i am slacking and lacking hardcore we're doing this last minute we're leaving in about eight hours or so so i have time but we're gonna be driving all throughout the night so i also need to get a little bit of time to rest so i'm trying to do this quick i got um a full tank of gas already we went to costco got the gas um what else oh i still haven't even finished packing i this is like my first trip ever in the entire world hi <laughs> anyway i'm gonna head inside walmart and get my little snacks and then i will see you guys in a minute all right y'all it's eight o'clock and we're gonna be leaving in an hour check out the setup my makeup so don't melt in the trunk we have a little snack box to all of our blankets and then we have to go get ice i forgot the ice but it's just like full drinks more stuff that i don't want to be in the trunk and then chips so um his luggage is in the room but everything else is all packed up extra drinks for when our cooler starts to get a little low oh my god we're going on the trip we're going on the trip my little laptop's down there my camera oh my god i'm so excited Yee! look at the cup i got from walmart this cup from Walmart earlier. Oh my god, I'm excited. it's the next day as you can probably tell by the little sunrise setup that i had going for you it was cute or whatever look at this mountain don't you know i'm trying to travel anyway what's up guys um i'm feeling super sleepy we just drove um about 10 hours and we're in uh we're not quite in seattle but we're pretty freaking close about an hour and like 20 minutes away but we're gonna get some sleep because listen it's about 8 30 and check-in isn't until 3 we just wanted to make sure that we were gonna be here on time and not late because this lady's not messing around i think i remember seeing like every 30 minutes that you're late um she charges you so we don't we already spent enough so we're chilling in the Burger King parking lot. We just got McDonald's across the street. This parking lot seemed a little bit more low key. So we're gonna try to get a little bit of sleep and then um, head the rest of the way into Seattle and um, do like a little sightseeing, but not anything too crazy. And then head to the Airbnb and just really absorb the Airbnb for the rest of the night and relax. So that the next three days we can really just go crazy, go stupid, check out the Seattle air, and just enjoy ourselves. Good morning. I just woke up from my nap. I woke up in a panic, wondering where I was. <laughs> We're gonna go see the Fremont Troll and get the bridge.
Hey guys, good morning. Oh my god, look. Listen, I have something to tell you. Listen, new state, new me. I did my hair today. What the hell? And I mean, listen, this is my first time attempting to do anything like this. And I tried to one time put it up and was like, you know what? There's flaws and imperfections, but we're just gonna go with it. I'll be feeling myself walking around like this. I'll be walking around the pier like this today. I'll be like, oh, look at me. I'm Jada. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, what up? No, actually, I'm really digging this fit. Let me show you. <laughs> my little Converse, it's really putting this fit over the top. <sighs> I'm feeling pretty cute. But anyway, um, for today, listen, day, it's, day two in seattle but we're just gonna say day one because it's the first full day and um i'm so out of breath hold on give me just a second so it's the first full day in seattle um we're gonna walk around the pier and we're gonna get lunch cheech wants to do clam chowder so we're gonna get lunch he's downstairs getting me coffee right now there's a little cute little coffee shop on the corner so he's getting coffee right now what a cute boy and then we're gonna finish getting ready which i'm pretty much done i just gotta i just wanted my hair to dry a little bit more okay look look i do a cool little thing where i get a new perfume every time i go on a trip so that whenever i smell the perfume back home i think of the trip so this one's billy eilish oh yeah baby This, it looks, when I went to San Diego, I got Ariana Grande and it was like a nice little like sweet smell. And I'm like, that's perfect for San Diego, right? This one is like a, it's like a musky vanilla smell. And what I was thinking is, I don't know how to explain it, but something more like I'm an adult, you know what I mean? Like something more mature, does that make sense? And then I smelled this. I was like, yo, I feel so mature right now. <laughs> So this is perfect. And this is the right vibe for Seattle, I think. I'm putting it back in the box because it's so bougie. All right, y'all. Well, I'm gonna wait for my coffee and wait for this hair to dry. And then we're gonna go explore. I'm excited. Hi. So, it's just a cold brew. It's not good. I tried it. Where'd you get it? So those two places that were like right here, they're not open yet. Uh -huh. So there's this little bakery right here. Uh -huh. And they didn't have, I was like, Read the menu and I'm like, I don't like mocha, like none of this sounds like what she would want. <laughs> so I was like, can I get a vanilla sugar cold brew? And she's like, okay, here you go. Okay. So see. I was going to pour some out and figure out some creamer in here. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, they didn't even give you a lid? No. Yeah, it's terrible. So, I'm gonna figure something out for you. <laughs> Okay, so I will be right back. No, no, no. It's okay, babe. No, no, no. Yeah, we're from the market. There's a market right outside. It's okay. Nope. Because <laughs> I got you my coffee because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with coffee. It's I okay, babe. I know. <laughs> I should have, like, gave better instructions. Ah! Yeah, use the spoon. I'll be right back. Okay, I love you. I love you. Let's get some lights on the subject. Oh, shit. right the coffee is pretty bad I think like what okay this is gonna be really mean but this I don't even know if y'all can see me it kind of tastes like cleaning supplies I'm not gonna lie what y'all trying to do to me <laughs> Your heads. We did that hard one. That was not as terrible. I mean, it's pretty bad, but out of. <laughs> okay. We go to the aquarium, so we can just.
about this whole little place in here to ourselves. Except for that person, but handled by the law. Okay. Please follow all safety instructions. Can't go play. What Cheech picked out for himself. A little hoodie. Me and him got matching windbreakers. And this is my sweatshirt, my beanie. And then this is little Zach's um, shirt, Randall's hat. And then this is Maddie's. It came with a little setup here, a little hat and a shirt. And then her little sticker. What the heck is that? Onion? <laughs> It's a rainy one today in Seattle, and I'm pumped because this is what I've been waiting for. It's a good old rainy day in Seattle. We're gonna do a bunch of inside stuff, thank God, but we're still walking to each place. But we got our little windbreakers yesterday, so we should be good to go. But um, we're gonna go to the Seattle Underground, get a little tour, and then probably grab some lunch or something, and then we're gonna go see Buzz Lightyear. was the leading historian here in Seattle back in the 1960s and he started this tour because he was trying to save a uh, Pioneer Square here. Head down to the corner. Once you reach the corner, you'll be stepping in what was, what was part of the old red light district. So. From the corner here to three blocks down were mostly brothels and saloons. So these are the Amazon Spheres. I didn't know that they were open to the public, but I think they actually were this time. Next door, they have an Amazon store where if you have an account, you just scan your account and then you go in, grab whatever you want, and then you walk out and then it automatically charges you to your account. But we didn't get to go this time, so definitely gonna have to check this out next time. But there's like a rainforest inside. Imagine this vibe raining inside, just editing or something. How cute, what the fuck? Zach and I decided to take a uh, hop in the hot tub. But I just wanted to show you guys right outside of the hot tub little space. There's the swimming pool and the hot tub over there. Is this little garden. We haven't been out here yet, but we forgot towels. So Zach went up to get towels. But check this out. Like relaxing out here. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Little garden. And then a 
lot of the people have balconies on the inside of this place. And I get a view of a little garden. We're on the outside, so we got the streets, but I'm not mad about it. We almost saw a fight just now. The other thing that's pretty cool about um, this place we're staying at is you have to have one of these to get into the building and to get into all the other rooms, like like the pool room. And you have a little key fob and you just go, and then once you in, if you ain't got a key fob, you ain't getting in. Like me right now. She chose the key fob. You, look at our cute little Seattle clothes. We're gonna make a fair trade, okay? We're not gonna do my hair today, but we're gonna do my makeup. It's gonna take a fair trade to me. So for today, we were gonna do the um, Space Needle and the Pop Culture Museum, but we're getting them on Friends. So we're just, I was gonna still do both even though we're on Friends and just struggle for the rest of the trip. But it's, so it's $35 for the Space Needle and then it's, um, $30 for Pop Culture Museum. I went to go look at the Space Needle to get the tickets and it said 15 minute interval. So like 6 to 6.15. So I was like, wait, what is 15 minutes? That's it? Maybe next time. I think we're gonna do the Space Needle next time. I was really excited and I feel like when you think of Seattle, you think Space Needle. While we're doing all the touristy things, and we're not gonna go do the Space Needle. So, I'm a little upset about it, but next time, you know, next time. If we saved up better, we would be able to do it, but we didn't, and that's my fault. Well, that's our fault. Yeah. And then we're leaving tomorrow, so we're gonna do the museum. Um, we're gonna ride there on our little VO bikes. And then after, we're gonna go to Hard Rock Cafe. Um, it's been a while since I've been to a Hard Rock Cafe. They have them in San Francisco, which is about an hour and half or so from where I live, but I just have never been there yet. And my mom, listen, my mom has a sweatshirt from Hard Rock that I took when I moved out. <laughs> I don't know if she knows that, but I took it. And it was like my favorite sweatshirt for a really long time. Like it was, it was the best sweatshirt that I owned. This is even right. Where's my stuff at? Then I got fat. So that's not gonna fit anymore. I still have it, but it's just unwearable for right now. So, even though I'm low on funds, I'm gonna figure out a way. Hey, listen, that's 70 bucks I just saved. I'm not getting the Space Needle tickets. In a way, I deserve a Hard Rock sweatshirt. Imagine that. Hard Rock Seattle underneath? Yes. A little outfit for today. I know, right?